Namaste. Welcome to your class, your short class to really fire up your solar plexus chakra, which is your Manipur chakra, which is this one here, two fingers above your belly button. Now this chakra governs your sense of um, confidence, you know, and if you're lacking energy or feeling less confident, um, you're feeling lethargic, this is the class for you to really get things fired up over here. So you're just gonna come seated like this with your knees up. Bring your hands underneath your knees, lifting up nice and tall and rolling back, rounding up your shoulders, rounding up your back, chin to chest. And then lift up, bringing your chest towards your knees, looking up. So just getting a nice stretch across your neck and even your back. Inhale, exhale, coming back. And up, just move this a few times, just really warm up your back, lengthen out your shoulders your spine, open up your chest and coming back to centre. Again, lifting up nice and tall. We're going to take a gentle twist here. So taking your right hand over your knee, just trying to grab onto your ankle, taking your left hand back, sit up tall and just taking a gentle twist, looking over your left shoulder. Good. And over to the other side. Using your breath, connecting to your breath here. And coming back to centre. This time, rolling back, using your core here, really engaging your core muscles here. And lying down, taking your hands over your head and just gently moving your legs side to side in a windshield wiper. Good. Keeping your shoulders grounded, just twisting here from your waist, from your belly button. And hugging your knees, come back to centre, hug your knees. Bringing your forehead towards your knees here. And then just placing your hands underneath the knees again. We're just going to rock up here. And as you rock up, try not to bring your feet to the ground. So again, engaging the core muscles, sitting up. Try not to touch your feet. Just a few times here. Roll up. And one more time. Roll up, holding here. Holding in the Vasana, your boat posture here. Now you can stay here or you can release your hands. Just looking nice and straight, nice and tall here. Then placing your feet down, placing your hands to your side, straightening out your feet and then lifting up your pelvis, straightening your arms into your reverse plank and you can take your head back if you wish. Good. Opening up your heart, opening up your money board chakra here. And coming back, just swinging over onto your all fours, tucking your back toes, pushing your hands away and lifting up into your first downward facing dog. Then again, you can walk it out here if you need to. Good. And then bend your knees, just hopping forward in between your hands, rolling up halfway, exhale, coming down, bending your knees, taking two steps back or hopping back into your plank, taking your knees, chest, chin or your chaturanga, coming down, inhale, upward facing dog, you can keep your knees down or you can lift your knees up, opening up your chest and then rolling your toes back into your downward facing dog, good. And then bending your knees, hopping forward, inhale, halfway up, exhale, forward fold, into Uttanasana, rolling up, into Uttanasana, good. This time stepping your left leg back into your warrior one position, keeping your hips nice and square, facing the front of the mat. And then just coming into your Virabhadasana one, your warrior one. 
Good, just holding it here. And then straightening your leg, holding onto your opposite elbows behind your back, opening up your chest here and folding from your hips. You're just going to fold forward, aiming to bring your chest over your leg. Just holding it here. And if you feel it's hard to balance, you can always bring your hands down or you can grab your block and just place it down beside your feet just to bring the floor a little bit higher. Good. Bending your front knee and coming back up. Good. And stepping forward. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. And you can bend your knees, hop back into your plank, taking your vinyasa flow. Coming down, inhale. Upward facing dog and back into your downward facing dog. Good. Just holding it here. And then bending knees, hopping forward and rolling back up into your tadasana, hands into prayer position. This time stepping your right leg back into Virabhadasana once. Your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. I'm just coming forward into your Virabhadasana one, warrior one. Straightening your front leg. Again, holding onto your opposite elbows. Lifting your chest up, folding from your hips. Bringing your chest down over your legs. Just folding down. Really stretching out the hamstrings, the back of your legs. Head comes down last, so you don't round your back. Good, holding it here. Bending your front leg and coming back up into your warrior one and stepping forward into Pradasana. Let's take one more vinyasa flow. Inhale, bringing your hands up over your head. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down, bending your knees. Hopping back into plank, where you can take two steps back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. This I'd like you to bend your knees, but instead of hopping between your hands, you're going to hop to the sides of your mat. So you're just going to hop forward like this, coming into your malasana. So bringing your hands into prayer position, using your elbows to really push open your knees, Spine is nice and straight, just holding you into your malasana. Good. And then you can just move with this. So bringing your right hand down, left hand up. And the other side. Again, you can follow the gaze of your hand that reaches up. Close your eyes if you've got good balance. Just really enjoy this. And then coming back into your malasana, then try taking a bind now. So you're going to take your right hand behind you and your left hand behind you. You're going to try to interlace your fingers, taking your malasana bind. Good. Looking up towards the ceiling or the sky. Releasing back to centre, taking it to the other side. So now taking your left hand back, Right hand back, hands are clasped behind your back. It's a very deep asana here. Also great for digestion as well. You're pressing your internal organs here, really stimulating your digestive system, your money board chakra, and coming back and you can just now lift up your heels, come side to side, and then lifting up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale down, again hopping back or stepping back into your plank, vinyasa flow. Into your downward facing dog. And coming down, you can sit in Vajrasana or in an easy pose with your cross legs. I'm just going to do a quick pranayam. This is called Kapalabhati, breath of fire. The element of your Manipur Chakra is the fire. So to awaken that fire, to give your energy, confidence, clarity, all the good stuff that comes with just waking up and, and you know, shining and igniting our internal fire, you're going to bring your hands over your solar plexus area here. There is a full tutorial 
on this pranayam on my YouTube page, um, but I'll just run over it now. So you inhale, and as you inhale, your belly expands. So inhale, and you're gonna take short bursts of breath, um, like very passive breath through your nose. So inhale, Chakra, just sending positive light into this area and you can lie down in Shavasana or if you're short for time you can come up with me inhale bringing your hands up over your head down to your heart center into your Anjali Mudra bowing down to your chest thanking yourself for making this time for your mind body and soul hope you have a lovely day love and light namaste